The right boat for the mission was a twin-engine jet boat. Good afternoon, uh, Corey Armstrong, ACI Boats. My name's Mike Carr. I fish in Bristol Bay and I captain a boat called the Miss Melito. The vessel behind us, the high voltage, got a pair of 8.3 Cummins at 600 horsepower and the MJP Ultrajet 340 HT jets. We became uh, interested in the Bristol Bay fishery early on. The boats that are used up there primarily now are, you know, or the high yield boats are primarily jet boats, uh, twin engine. A big part of, of their functionality is being able to run in the shallows where the fish also run. They're operating for five, six weeks with really catching most of their catch in a couple of week period. I've known for a long time that water jets were the future. When I went to build a twin jet boat, I wanted to make something that was going to handle some weather. I've tried other water jets. Ultra jets just outperform all of them. They're exceptionally well designed in many ways. But water jets are really well suited for Bristol Bay because it's really shallow. If you want to get shallow, you got to have water jets. Maneuverability is, is excellent. They can get around their nets, over other nets, or whatever it may be, and with a lot of thrust, so they can get a, a good amount of weight back to the tenders um, for offloading and getting back to the fishery. The twin jet boats have the fish holds really far forwards, the engine's in the back, so the boat doesn't squat down in the stern like the single engine vessels, so you can put a lot of fish on these things. The twin jet boats offer you a lot of redundancy. If you have a breakdown, you can usually keep going. You can lose an engine, you can lose a hydraulic pump, but you're still fishing. 